Hi boys and girls and welcome to Virtual Art Club. I'm so excited to be working with you guys this week. And this week we're going to be learning about the country Mexico. And we're also going to make a felt sugar skull wall hanging. Our country for today is Mexico. And Mexico is actually just our neighbor to the south. It's a really biodiverse country. That means it has a lot of different landscapes. It's got beaches, deserts, rainforests, and mountains. It also has tons of animals like jaguars and pumas, huge iguanas, lizards, colorful birds, and lots of other creatures. People have actually lived in Mexico for thousands and thousands of years. And Mexico is known for lots of different things, such as their art, their music, and especially their food. Both chocolate and chilies come from Mexico. The main language that is spoken in Mexico is Spanish, and the most popular sport is soccer. One holiday that is celebrated in Mexico is El Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. And while that might sound a little bit spooky to think about Day of the Dead, this is actually a hollow day that celebrates with lots of joy and laughter the loved ones who have died. It's believed that during this celebration, the spirits of the dead can come back to visit and celebrate with the living. Candles and marigold flowers will line the streets and help guide the spirits back. Families celebrate with lots of food and music and by building beautiful ofrendas, which means personal altars, and calaveras or skulls are a really popular symbol that you see for this holiday day of the dead. People will make skulls out of sugar and then decorate them with bright colored icing. And today we are actually going to make a piece of art that's been inspired by one of those sugar skulls. We're going to be making ours out of felt and it will be a wall hanging, so something that you can hang up. If you'd like to learn more about Mexico or El Dia de los Muertos, then check out the videos that I linked below. And now let's get started with our craft. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here are the things that you should have in your kit. Your background with a dowel rod, some tacky glue, some puff paint, these are actually in different colors, so you might not have orange, a skull, permanent marker, some felt, a little bag with some extra jewels and things to decorate with, a circle tracer and a heart tracer, and then this is a special little treat. Inside here are a couple of things that you can eat that are actually made in Mexico. So two little Mexican treats for you to enjoy as you work on your project. Please make sure you talk to your parent to make sure that you can eat both of those things in case you have any allergies. And you will also need some scissors. To get started, you're going to need to ask a grown up to help you cut your glue open. So there's a little tip on the end of this that you'll just need to cut off with scissors. That way the glue will be able to come out. The first thing we're going to do is glue our skull onto our background. Now there's this fuzzy side and then there's a sparkly side. I want the sparkly side to go up, so I'm gonna make sure to put the glue on the back. You can go around the edge or you can do dots or you can do a design. However you do it will work. Just fine. Mine is sticking a little bit to the felt fibers or the little hairs that are sticking up on it. Put that cap on there. Then I'm going to flip it over and glue it right in the middle. Just like that. Now this tacky glue actually does take quite some time to dry. So after you put everything together, you're probably going to wait overnight before you pick it back up and hang it up. Okay, after you have your skull glued on, then you can start with the eyes and the nose. You can use the tracers that I added in your kit, or you can just draw your own on the felt, and you can use whatever color you want for this. The black might look kind of traditional, like a skull with black eyes and a black nose, but you can use whatever colors you want. I went ahead and I traced two circles and a heart on the yellow,
and when I glue them on, they'll look like this. Now your nose for the heart, you actually want to make sure you glue it upside down. Add some glue. Sometimes you need to keep the lid on and give it a tap. Glue those right where you want them. So now that I have my eyes and my nose glued on, now it's time for me to decorate my skull. Now, traditionally, skulls have hearts, flower petals around the eyes, you could do crosses, you could do a mustache on it, you can do any kind of decoration that you think will look beautiful on your skull. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut out some flower petals to go around the eyes, maybe some hearts, some crosses, so I'll see you in a few minutes after I've got this all decorated. So once I have all of the felt decorations on here that I want, I'm going to start adding some jewels and some other extra decorations. So now I'm going to add some of the jewels and the pom-poms that were inside that brown paper bag just to add some extra decoration to our skull. Now you can use either your tacky glue or your puff paint to glue these on. I think I'm going to try to do the puff paint for some of the jewels first. All right, I've been working for a while on this now and I think I'm done with all of my jewels and I'm ready for the final step. So the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your puff paint and you're going to add your smile. So with puff paint, leave the cap on and give it a few taps on the table. That's gonna get any bubbles out of there for you and make sure it's ready to come out. This has a tendency to sort of squirt. So you wanna make sure it's ready to come out smoothly. And then you'll draw a smile. And you can add some lines to make it look more like a skull. You could also do this with the really thin pieces of felt, but I like to use the puff paint for it. You can also go back through and add any other little details with the puff paint if you want. You could add some little dots. 
Okay, now that I'm finished with my puff paint and I've added all of the decorations that I want, I need to let this sit for overnight or even a full day. It takes a long time for the puff paint and for the tacky glue to set. So you wanna make sure that you don't pick it up and don't try to hang it up until it has been sitting for at least overnight and hopefully a day would be even better. When you are ready, you can use that string tie it around the dowel rod and it is ready to hang up and display. I hope you guys had fun with this. I would love to see pictures of how they turned out. So please email me a picture of your finished project so I can check it out. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.